Hi and welcome to this video. I know it's been a while since I've posted on YouTube but I'm going to make it a much more regular thing now. I'm going to try and do one a week. Um, and this is the first one. This is a request from somebody. Somebody asked me how to get alpha textures into Substance Painter. Uh, this is the texture I'm going to use. It's basically a leaf applied to uh, a flat polygon, but well, almost flat. It's got a curve on it. It's like a, you know, and uh, some segments, uh, polygon segments here. And I've just applied this. It's got an alpha, which is defining. If I get rid of the edge faces, you can see it is just a leaf with alpha. Now, it's double sided, so it has got an underneath it's got polygons on both sides. Um, and I'm going to take this into Substance Painter and show you how to apply it. And perhaps you can see here, it's got holes in the leaf, which is fine. And uh, But some of the holes are still filled in with the background of the texture. And um, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of those as well inside Substance, because you don't have to do it all here. Um, you can do it in Substance Painter too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the images. So basically what I've got here, let me show you. So this is the piece of geometry I'm going to use. It's just uh, it's just eight quads double sided. That's it. Nothing fancy. And it's got a material applied to it, which is leaf material, basically. Okay, so the images. Okay, so this is a PNG of the texture that I'm going to use. It's got alpha in the PNG. The alpha is actually in the image, which means it's taking away uh, from some of the actual quality of the image itself. So I tend to just use like a really high quality 24 bit image and then separate the alpha off and use it separate. It's, it's you know, it, at this stage, it doesn't really ma matter how you get it into substance uh, because when it comes out the other end, when you've finished, it's, it's um, baked into your format of your choice anyway. So it doesn't matter if it goes in um, as long as you get it in and it's, at the highest quality. That's kind of what I've learned as I've going along. So I don't use, this is the PNG, I don't use that. So what I've done here is I have a TGA, which is 24 bit. And from that, I created my own alpha. So it's two separate images. I just broke away the alpha from the image and they're two separate images. They perfectly match obviously, uh, but um, they are separate images and we're going to bring them both into um, Substance Painter. So, okay, so let's head on over to Substance Painter and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is load in the mesh. So let's do that. So we go new and we just leave this. I mean, you can, I mean, it's a leaf. You can just leave all this as it is for now. I had somebody ask me about this recently. So just leave it leave you don't need to touch it so click on select to select your mesh and you just bring it in like this this is what we had in my modeling package just now and I can show you this select your wireframe and you can see let's just shut that down for a minute you can see it's the same mesh as what I had in my modeling package just now and over here you can see it has the leaf material applied to it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is bake our textures. Now this is an important part that a lot of people miss. Uh, there's two things you have to do to get alpha to work inside Substance Painter. The first thing is you need to change your shader. Okay, let's bring this here. So you need to make sure, because it's default at PBR Metal Rough, you need to come down here and look for your alpha one of them is, uh, is that it? Yeah, alpha test, that, that's fine. PBR metal rough with alpha test. Select that, and that will, now Substance knows that it's gonna use some alpha. Uh, so turn that off, and we come over here to our texture set settings. Break that off, just so we can see it better. And we, under channels here, we're gonna add uh, b -b -b opacity here. So click on that so that when it bakes, which we're gonna do now, it'll bake an opacity channel so we can use it. Okay, so bake mesh maps. Don't need an ID, so there's no point in filling up 
memory and stuff with stuff you don't use so just turn that off make that as big as you need 1024 whatever you want that to be doesn't really matter for now um, we're just going to use the low poly mesh we don't have an high version of this obviously it's just eight quads double-sided so we're just going to use the low poly version here we're going to leave all that the same we're just going to bake leaf there we go Boom. okay so that's that done so now we have um, it baked now if we come over here you scroll down you can see now uh, our material has an opacity channel here look I can switch it on and off there it is the next thing we need to do is bring our textures into into painter so if we go and find them so I'm bringing in two TGA files here you can see the number two there um, and I'm just going to drag them from my folder onto this window here uh, and you can see there's two files there one is just the alpha the other one is the actual image with no alpha so I'm going to drop that there and you get this window here and we're just going to tell it that it's a texture and that's a texture um, you can import your resources to current session uh, project PBR this session or put it down on your shelf permanently I'm just going to do current session and then click import and you can see both of my images have has appeared here okay the next thing we need to do is make sure our layer up here is not a paint layer which I believe this is uh, let me just yes I can paint okay so we need to just delete that layer like so and add a fill layer like that and then down here on our base color we can drag dead leaf drop it in there and we got our leaf pretty simple now we do the same we can turn off any other things we want to but we can come down here um, there's our opacity get our opacity map and we just drop that in there and there we go straight away we have our leaf in substance paint there's no normal map on it uh, the roughness looks a bit weird so we can just change that because so it's a little bit shiny but nothing much we don't want too much shininess on that um, and if you have a normal map that you've baked somehow you can drop that onto the normal slot um, and do the same so you know that's basically how you do it now we can also now add a paint layer can come down and turn everything off oops like so and just leave the opacity switched on make sure that this is on if it's on black we can paint hose if it's on white we fill the hose back in so make sure it's on black to paint come over here with our brushes let's get one that's a little bit uh, a bit rough around the edge if you like um, I quite often use the the, the uh, dirt brushes quite a lot these here because they're quite rough let's try this let's shrink it down and now we can go around if we want to and take out some more of these holes and that's basically it and that's got a hole in it now can't really see it because uh, because the gray the background's gray but and we can just keep doing that we'll do some more over here do this hole the brush brush is probably not that the best for this but you know you want a bit of a, a rough like it's been burnt away so you can just go around and edit this if you want to so you can keep doing that so you get your edges you get your opacity you know for editing that's perfectly fine if you didn't have all this sorted before you brought the image in you can still do it in in substance painter and that's pretty cool and you can do the same we can add another uh, paint layer here I call them paint layers I think they're just is it a paint layer I think it's because you can paint on them like straight onto the model that's why I call them paint layers and on this one we can turn on like normal in height turn off the rest don't want to use the opacity and I can make this a bit bigger here I'll give this let me just find my give it some sweeping normals you know just like 
Uh, let's try this. Give it some. Okay, we need to increase our height map. When I'm saying height map, even though it's going to be in the normal because it will bake it. When I export the textures to using like Unity, it will bake the height into the normal map. So that's kind of how you do it. Let me just see. The other one way. Let's do it the other way. Yeah, so now we can get some sort of texture on the leaf as well. Um, not what I was trying to do. Let me just get a better brush here. Something with a smooth. So I'm just lifting the, the segments of this leaf up now. So it's. Uh, looks like it's a leaf more more of a leaf just blend it around like this there we go we can lift you know, so you can add your normal map if you want to just by doing this it's a bit of an extreme way of doing it but you know that's one way if you don't be if you don't um if you don't have a normal map you know you can do it this way that's perfect it's a bit rough but you get the idea yeah, you know, you can just add that to it as well. So I'm not going to do any more to it than that. I'm just showing you the different techniques I use for alpha, really, but with a bit of normal map thrown in as well. Um, so there we go. That's it. That's my leaf. It's in. You can edit it. You can add bits to it. Um, it's really up to you, but that is how you bring in textures with Alpha into Substance Painter, and then you can edit them. And this can be billboards, um, anything you want, a fence, um, if any low poly object that needs Alpha, glass, you know, whatever you want, whatever you're using it for, you can use this technique. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, it helps grow the channel and if you want to see more of this kind of stuff I have uh, courses on Udemy and all the links are in the description below and they include things like uh, Substance Painter, I've got a Substance Painter course, a ZBrush course and a course that takes you through the entire process from concept art to final in-game art on there as well so if you want to see that go ahead for the price of a burger, you can learn how to uh, create video game art. So that's cool. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.